Hi everybody, and welcome back to another Survival Minecraft episode. Now, this is Chris Haraldson, or KH, we call him for short, and this is his Hook River Mining Outpost. And he's done quite a bit of work since the last time you've seen this place. Now we'll just head up to the main area. And the first thing you may notice is he is now using a shader pack and it's a pretty extreme shader pack I'll leave the link in the description so we'll see how this gameplay suffers or doesn't not entirely sure how this will go my computer is um, well it was the top of the line gaming PC but that was in 2015. But down there, you can see another level. Now, Chris dug this area out. And he's not exactly sure what he's going to do with it yet. But it's here. He was running out of room for chests. Now he has plenty. What else is different? Oh yeah, yeah. Down here, Maybe you recall in the last video, or maybe the one before that, this cave. Uh, Chris was working on clearing this cave. And while he had some success, he didn't get a chance to do it all. There was a big dark spooky ravine. Well, times have changed. And that spooky ravine no longer exists. Chris has managed to to come down here and and clear all this out. It's still pretty dark up there, but the cave itself has been cleared up to a certain point. And that point is right here. There's still more work to be done, but he'll get around to doing that in the future. And the way that Chris went about clearing that ravine was by going through here. And he made this little tunnel. With, uh, you know, windows that he could battle the monsters through and place torches to light it up. And he continued on down here.
And this is as far as he went. There's still, like I said, more work to be done. But, oh boy, it just about fell. But we'll get around to doing that in good time. Now you may or may not be able to hear my fan. It's kind of whistling a little bit. But in this video, Chris was thinking of doing some exploring. He's been cooped up underground for many weeks. And while there still is lots of work to be done down here, he wants to go back up to the surface and stretch his legs a little. Now, I don't know if it's day or night, but if we look at Chris's clock, we can see that the sun is set. And the moon is up. So let's head back upstairs. a new mouse and it's it's kind of pretty slick and I don't know about you but Chris Chris isn't a big fan of going exploring at night. I'm sure you could agree on that. It's pretty spooky looking out there. Now I suppose we could go down to his to his bedroom and go to sleep. But you know what? There's other things that we could be doing. Now Chris has plenty of food. He has some cobblestone. I think he may want to take more cobblestone. He's not too sure how long he's going to be out. So he wants to take enough so that he could build some type of a shelter if need be. What else? Tools seem to be pretty good. Some wood a good idea to take. Maybe some signs. Some glass. Some coal. some dirt as well. Now maybe we don't need all this cobblestone. But we want some dirt. So 
so that should do them pretty good. Ah, torches. He has 64, but more torches couldn't hurt. Maybe he has some upstairs. Oh, and the sun is coming up. There's an ender. There's 12. And more wood. We'll take some more wood with us. There's a creeper right there in the tall grass. He does a pretty good job of blending in. Now Chris is not a fan of the creeper. I don't think he can see him. Let's see if we can change the view. There's the creeper right there. Oh, thunderstorm. Or maybe it's not a thunderstorm. Maybe it's just raining. But I don't know about hitting the trail in the rain. So what do you say we offload some of this stuff? And we'll go down into the mine. You know what, I want to block this off. go down into the mine until the rain stops. Oops. What's down this way? I never really went down here. Didn't mean to do that. Ah, there's some iron. Let's get that.
I suppose we can fill in the hole. I don't know why we're mining down here. There's a, a cave that we still haven't entirely cleared. If we go back down here, So what is the best way to tackle this? I think if we go this way, oh, there's gravel. careful. We don't want to make the wrong move. Put a torch right there. Where's the glass? I think if Chris puts a piece of glass there, mines out this block, should be able to see what he's up against. Same thing here torch up there. Glass right there. Hey, there's some iron. This looks like the end of the cave, and more iron. So we know that that is okay. So we need to go down there. The best way to do that might be to go this way. Is there any evil down here? 
Yes, there is. There's a big cave. So we'll put glass there and there for the time being. This new shader pack really makes things dark and spooky. So we'll leave that like that. Come back up here. And we'll go this way. Yeah, that doesn't look horribly inviting. So I don't blame Chris for not wanting to take off that way. Yeah, that goes down a ways. It also goes up a ways, too. Let's knock that out. Throw a torch up there. So evidently, there's a lot more work that needs to be done. That's a completely different cave. The one that we were interested in is right here. So how's this going to work? Oh boy. So it should be getting close to daylight now, I would imagine, or, I mean, the rain should be stopping, but I guess not, it's 
towards midnight. So we have some more time to play around with this. Now I don't know if this cave wraps around and goes up and then back down. It might do that. I just don't know. I think what we need to do is kind of build up along this way. Okay, now we can relatively safely go down here. Whoops. Don't have too much glass left. What is that? something moving back there. Oh. Yeah, we do not want to fall down there. So let's get um, get, get some cobblestone. up there. Glass that up. What is that? Don't see anything. Oh, th that's water. That's water down there. iron right there. Let's try to go a little bit further, maybe. Yeah, we do not want to fall down there. Too far down for me to place a torch. Whoa, look at that. I'm not keen. Exploring that. Wow, look at this. Look at this place. How terrifying.
I don't think anybody would blame Chris. Staying within his class bubble. I mean, the torches do very little to penetrate this inky blackness. Let's take the spyglass and see if we can see anything. So this definitely warrants a revisit. But the sun is on its way back up and we are almost completely out of glass. But we did make some progress. So I'm sure Chris is, is satisfied. Now how do we get out of here? Up this, up this staircase. So Chris has never explored the lands to the west of the Hook River mining outpost. And being rich as far as ores go, He is pretty anxious to run across some sort of village, hopefully. And the sun is high in the sky. So I'll leave the uh, iron ore there. And we can head back up. granite. And Chris is starting to run low on torches. Coal makes a lot of torches. So let's head back up to the surface and see if the rain has stopped. Yeah, it looks like a nice day. Now back that way is Chris's uh, jungle temple mining outpost and back that way in that direction is Chris's main survival compound. So we know if, if Chris heads back to his compound he's probably not going to leave. So the direction that we may want to take off in is straight that way. So we'll plug this back up disguise the stairway and we'll get set with some resources.
coal cobble leave that slot open. Now, the sun is high enough in the sky that there shouldn't be any monsters. So we should be good to go. Okay, let's open the door and set off on our journey. I think we'll go straight this way. But we have to be mindful of caves or other pitfalls. Drop off here. Here's a pig. We'll just leave Mr. Piggy alone. We have plenty of food. Now the first thing we want to do is come up onto this hill. Climb right to the top. Which may be easier said than done. Yeah, right up here. And we'll get our dirt. What in the world? My dirt became invisible. That was different. And it became invisible again. Must be some kind of glitch. So we'll go... There it goes. And we'll put a torch right on... No, I just screwed that up. Put a torch on there. You see, we can see our base there. Where's the sun? It's starting to get low. So we want to make our way down that way. That is the direction we want to travel. Get out of my way. I don't like wandering traders. And the sun is starting to get low. And we don't want to get caught out here when the sun goes down. So we will make our way through this dense forest. It's dark. Can I jump off here? Yeah, I can. The sun is going to start setting, and I want to be somewhere safe. So I'm going to put a torch right here in mine. Little hole. Come on, my pickaxe. 
And I'm going to block this in. Why isn't, isn't it letting me block that in? There we go. And this is where we will stay until day breaks. And I didn't bring any glass. So that's a shame. Let's make this a little bigger. In the morning, we need to make a tower to mark the location of this place. So here we are, or rather here Chris is, in his little cubby hole. And come morning, he's going to set off again in search of adventure. Now to wait until the sun comes up. What will he discover? <laughs>